Do you struggle with finding good light for your photos? In this video, I'm going to share with you guys one trick to help you quickly and consistently find good lighting for any photo. And the best part is it's completely free and requires no extra gear. So how do we find good light for photos? Well, first we have to define what actually good light is. And for me and most of the photography world, good lighting usually means even lighting. Even lighting is when the light falls on the intended subject in the same manner or in the simplest of terms, there's no super bright or super dark spots on the subject. On the flip side, bad light usually refers to uneven light. Basically when the light is irregular or having random dark spots and shadows which can be unflattering for the subject or distracting for the photo overall. Okay, so how do we find good even light then? Well, it's actually pretty easy. All you have to do is stick out your hand, do a 360 and spin around the scene and take note of how the light actually falls on your hand. From there, pick the look that best represents your vision, place your subject in that spot and you're ready to shoot. When doing this trick, you'll be able to see a variety of lighting situations. For example, you'll be able to spot backlighting, which is great for silhouettes. You'll also be able to spot side lighting, which is great for drama or accentuating textures of your subject. And there's front lighting, which is really great for minimizing the shadows. And then lastly, my personal favorite, which is 45 degree lighting, which I feel is the best compromise between flattering light with a punch of contrast. When I use this type of lighting, a lot of people actually mistake in my lighting as using off camera flash to light the photo when actually it's just naturally lit at a 45 degree angle. So I'm sure you're thinking, but Reggie, of course you'll be able to find even lighting. You're standing in the shade, but you'll be glad to know that this technique works in harsh light and direct sunlight as well. And it also works indoors with window light. It also works indoors with lamps and artificial lighting. And finally, it's also a great way to gauge your off camera lighting setups for those super dark scenes. And when you have enough practice, you can actually skip the 360 part and just pick the spot and stick out your hand and quickly judge if the lighting of the photo or idea will work. Then you can make any adjustments necessary if the lighting of the specific shot just isn't working out how you'd like it to. Honestly, taking photographs will never be the same again. At least that's how it is for me. I use this technique every single day for both my personal work and professional wedding photography. And with the advent of mirrorless cameras and live preview, it pretty much eliminates all type of guesswork. So you can apply this type of lighting check to photography, but also other types of mediums like videography, taking casual selfies, doing video conference calls and Zoom calls, FaceTime, you name it. And did I mention it's completely free? All right, if this video helped you out, please give it a like. And if you learned something new, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments below. As always, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, as I make a new Fuji film or photography video every week. And if that's too long, be sure to follow me on Instagram at, at @regbphoto as I post new tips, tricks, and tutorials throughout the week. All right, that's it for me. Remember to get out, go shoot, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.